Hey folks, Joey Image here, and uh, welcome to another Friday talking video, and uh, obviously I'm driving, so please excuse me for not looking at the camera. Um, so I was having a conversation with uh, a buddy of mine, Pete, aka IRL Warrior on Twitter, and as you guys know, every week I do these talking videos every Friday, and uh, a couple of topics came up. One of them I will answer next week, also from Pete, but... Uh, the, the subject of regrets in wrestling came up and uh, it got me thinking about my regrets in my own wrestling career and uh, one of them that he asked me about or one thing he asked me about again was my own regrets I figured that might be kind of an interesting topic for people to uh, to see or to hear about or to hear me talk about uh, in my 20 plus year wrestling career uh, 15 of those as you know in the ring or as some of you know I don't know uh, in the ring, and then since then, since 2015, uh, June, um, it's been behind the scenes, a little bit in front of the crowd, um, but uh, I thought it would be interesting for some people to maybe hear my, my stories of my regrets. I mean, I don't know. If you don't care about this, you might as well turn off the video now, <laughs> but um, I really have only have, like, two big regrets. I don't have a lot of regrets, really. I mean, but I've got two that always stand out to me. One of them, not so big. One of them, kind of uh, big in a personal way as well. So anyway, let me get to the point. Um, the first one is not getting my hair cut by Burgers the Barber Beefcake. So in 2000, I believe 2006, uh, I was working for a company called PWE. Pro Wrestling Elite, and there was a show coming up. The promoter's name was also Pete, different Pete than that asked me this question. But um, we were running a show in Booton, New Jersey, uh, and the main event was my tag team partner at the time, Eric Andretti. We were the T-Birds of Greece fame from Rydell High School. <laughs> um, and it was him against Brutus the Barber Beefcake. And Pete, the promoter, had called me and asked me, because my, my partner had a crew cut at the time, and I had, I mean, my hair was longer then than it is now, and it was, it was a lot thicker on top, let me tell you. <laughs> so Pete had called me and said, hey, listen, what do you think about getting your hair cut by Brutus? We'll do some kind of little thing after the match where he goes after Eric, and he ends up grabbing you, and blah, 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 puts you to sleep, cuts your hair, blah, 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 and at the time, I just wasn't, I just didn't want to do it, I was like, nah, I'm, you know, I'm not really into it, like, I love my hair the way it is, I don't really want to cut it, uh, I'm not ready to cut it, um, I just don't think it's for me, and I, so I turned it down, and then I ended up uh, kind of rethinking it, and calling him back a couple hours later, and by then he had already found someone else to do it. Um, and I kind of always have regretted that because I, I just wasn't thinking at the time. You know, I was like, now and since then I think, man, it's Brutus the Barber Beefcake, dude. It would be great to have my hair cut by him. Like what an effing idiot I was to say no to that. You know, it's hair, it'll grow back. Uh, but I just wasn't into it at the time and, and I've always kind of regretted that. Felt like an idiot about it. I don't even know if Beefcake knows about that story, but uh, but that was my one one of my regrets. And then the other one that was kind of big to me was uh, I I did not attend, even though I was invited. Uh, I did not attend Taz's finishing school, which basically means he takes he invites people that he that he uh, thought had talent and maybe could go to the next level or maybe could get some kind of a bigger name even on the independent level and just kind of polish them off a little bit and uh you know maybe needed a little bit of work a little bit of tweaking some fine tuning maybe and then you know off of that to go go out into the uh into the wrestling world and see what happens um and the reason why i couldn't attend that is i just didn't have the money at the time and i had just scheduled a my first knee surgery uh, on my left knee, and the surgery was scheduled for, I believe, 
the same week that the training camp was supposed to start. Now, first of all, Taz got thousands of submissions for this. So just the fact that I was invited in the first place was such an amazing honor. And I have I've thanked him for this a million times back then. Uh, it's been almost probably 10 years since this was even a thing. Um, but uh, I thanked him profusely for it. It, it just, it was so, um, it was such a, a big, like, I don't know what the word is, motivator. That's a good word. It was a big motivator for me uh, to be invited to something like this. As in my mind, as prestigious as this was, because I was a huge ECW fan and Taz was always my favorite ECW guy. So for him to watch my work on tape and think that I was talented enough and to tweet out, hey, please follow my buddy Joey Image. He's, he's a great guy with a lot of talent. Uh, to tweet that out about me from him meant the world. I mean, my mind was blown back then. It was, it was amazing to me. Uh, so I wasn't able to go to that finishing school and because of those two reasons and I always regretted that I always thought maybe that you know I should have just went even if I was on my crutches because I, I believe the camp was six weeks with an optional seventh week if you wanted to go the last week just to kind of tweak some stuff or fine-tune stuff or whatever um, but my I was on crutches for eight weeks so I wouldn't have been able to participate in ring for that entire session. Um, and I was not, uh, obviously I was not happy about it. I mean, I wanted to do it. I submitted the video, but when I submitted it, I didn't have surgery scheduled and I didn't know what the cost would be to attend the camp. And I knew I needed surgery, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, but I hadn't yet scheduled it. I was hoping I would be able to schedule it after this camp, but my doctor just you know, decided against it and it's not, good, not a good idea and it'll get hurt more and blah, blah, blah. Basically, that was my fault. You know, Well, both of these regrets are my fault, but basically it was my fault and I should not have turned that down. Um, and I always kind of felt that like Taz kind of maybe had a little bit of heat with me over that. I don't, he's told me before that he hasn't, but we used to talk on Twitter, uh, public Twitter and DMs. We used to follow each other. Um, for pretty often we would talk. And, uh, you know, I, I felt like I kind of let him down because I was so pumped about doing this and I was super serious about it. And then the knee thing happened and was scheduled. And I was like, dude, I can't do this because of these reasons and he would tell me you know you should probably set you know you should you should rethink this and blah blah, blah. and I just couldn't do it. it I simply couldn't do it that's just basically what it came down to and I've always regretted that and I've always kind of regretted how him and I kind of split off um, we didn't speak as much after that we, we unfollowed each other um, I don't even remember why I unfollowed him or why he unfollowed me um, but uh, I think he unfollowed me based off something I tweeted, um, which back then I was just tweeting anything that came to mind, whether it was, you know, it didn't matter whether I had four little words in it <laughs> or whether it was something good, bad, good opinion, bad opinion, controversial, whatever it was, didn't matter to me. I would just say it. And uh, I think part of that is, is why he unfollowed me and we haven't really talked in a while. And he did put me over a few years ago when he was doing his daily morning show, which was called The Taz Show. Uh, it was him and I forget who the co-host slash producer was, but there was one morning where they were doing um, like an interactive fan thing and they would mention something on the air and then fans would tweet them their responses. And um, I tweeted something in response to whatever the question was. And he read it on the air and he said something like, oh, I like Joey, he's a good guy, old school kind of wrestler guy. Uh, I wish I could find that clip. I don't know, I don't remember the date or anything, but I'm gonna try to look for that. Oh uh, yeah. Shenanigans, antics, streaming and screaming. It's called the Taz Show, we're back, baby. Oh yeah. And I'm looking over here at the, at the Twitter cap. 
What's going my on? Man, nah, my man Joey Image. Joey Image at Joey Image. Rassler. Old school guy like Joey. Good dude. Uh, but I've always regretted that. I've always regretted us kind of having, uh, I guess, a falling out would be the best way to put it. I mean, I don't really know. We had never, we still have never met in person, by the way. Uh, I mean, if he saw me on, walking down the street, I don't think he would recognize me. Um, obviously, I would introduce myself, but I don't think he would recognize me. Um, but that's basically the gist of it. Um, again, I've always regretted that. And I still wish that we kind of had that open communication to each other, just as like personal buddies or whatever. He was always really, really good to me. He tweeted a lot of support to me and for me. Uh, like I said, that tweet before about please follow, you know, try to get me some followers. And, uh, you know, we were always kind of on good terms. Uh, and I'm hoping we still are or are now. Uh, but again, I haven't spoken to him in a while. We've never met in person. Um, so I always kind of regret that. He seems like a guy that I would like go out and grab sushi with and a couple beers and just shoot the breeze and just BS about the business. Um, he's always been a good guy to me. Anytime, any conversation we've had, any interaction we've had, he's always been really cool. So uh, if by some chance, Taz, you're watching this for some reason, or you got a hold of the link or whatever, or maybe I'll tag him in it when I when I tweet this out. Um, because every Friday, my new talking videos come out at 10 a.m. Um, I, I don't think I ever apologized to you for, you know, not... I guess letting you down is the way I see it. Um, with you know, with the content of my tweets at the time, um, I guess whatever I said that was controversial, which I don't even remember now. It's been, like I said, almost 10 years. Um, but uh, I never really got a chance to apologize to Taz and I've regretted that as well. Uh, I don't know where, like I said, I don't, I don't remember what I tweeted, but he was not a fan of it. Uh, obviously, and I've always regretted not being able to go to the camp, and I've, I don't know if I've apologized to him about that. I don't think I did. I do remember him telling me at some point, you know, there's no heat here. You couldn't come. It's okay. You know, it's not, it wasn't something I was obligated, obviously, or required to do, so he was cool with that. You know, there's no heat from my side, and uh, it's okay that you couldn't make it. You couldn't come. You couldn't attend. That, I remember him telling me that, I believe, on Twitter, um, but I've just never... Uh, Never had the chance to tell him, I guess, face to face that I'm sorry and shake his hand and, you know, hopefully whatever the, the heat, heat was a thousand years ago, it's gone now. Um, so I guess that's really it. I mean, I don't really know what else I can say about that. Taz, if you are watching this, man, I hope you're doing well. Um, and I will be seeing you on TV on uh, AEW doing commentary, which I think you are legitimately one of the best commentators in the business at the moment. So uh, I always loved Taz's commentary, and uh, we will be hearing a lot more of it since he's now with AEW, and good for him, man. Good luck. I hope that's working out great, and uh, if you happen to be at the Newark, New Jersey show March 25th, uh, I will be there, and maybe I can bump into you and finally shake your hand and thank you and apologize at the same time. <laughs> So guys, uh, any other questions, Q&A stuff, please post it in the comments down below. I will answer it in the upcoming weeks. Uh, next week, as I said, will be another question from my friend Pete, and I'll talk about that at the time. Uh, so please follow me on all social platforms at Joey Image TV. You can email me at joeyimage at gmail.com. And check out my buddy Pete, too. He's got a hell of a podcast where he takes pro wrestlers and smart fans and they debate back and forth it's nothing about attacking each other or you know personal insults or anything like that it's just a clean friendly debate and it's always fun um it's again it's at irl warrior on twitter and guys thanks for watching and uh talk to you soon and see you in the next video thanks a lot